Have you ever thought of using debt to your advantage? It's a question that might seem counterintuitive at first. After all, debt is often seen as something negative, right? We grow up hearing about the dangers of debt, the burden it can become, and the stress it can cause. It's something many of us try to avoid at all costs. But let's shake up that perception for a moment. What if we told you that debt, when used strategically, can actually be a positive thing? It might sound strange, but stick with us. Think of debt not as a burden, but as a tool. A tool that, when used correctly, can help you achieve your financial goals. It's all about understanding how to leverage it, how to manage it, and ultimately, how to make it work for you. So what if we could turn this seemingly negative concept into a tool for financial growth? Strategic debt usage. Sounds fancy, right? But what exactly does it mean? Well, just as a chef uses a knife to prepare a delicious meal, you can use debt as a tool to carve out financial success. It's all about leveraging debt to generate income or increase net worth. Let's break it down. Strategic debt usage isn't about reckless spending or accumulating debt for the sake of it. It's about intentionally taking on debt with a clear plan to use it for growth. It's about making your money work for you, even when that money is borrowed. For instance, let's talk about real estate. Many people buy properties not just to live in, but as an investment. They take on a mortgage, which is debt. But they're not just buying a house. They're buying an asset that can appreciate over time. The rental income or the sale proceeds from the property can far exceed the original debt, leading to an increase in net worth. Or consider starting a business. Entrepreneurs often take on debt to kickstart their ventures. Yes, there's a risk involved, but there's also the potential for significant returns. If the business succeeds, the income generated can pay back the initial debt and then some. Education is another example. Student loans are a form of debt, but the knowledge, skills, and credentials gained can lead to higher paying job opportunities. Over time, the increase in income can offset the original debt and result in a higher net worth. Each of these examples illustrates strategic debt usage. It's not about spending beyond your means, but about investing in assets or opportunities that can yield returns. It's about understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is an investment that will grow in value or generate long-term income. Bad debt, on the other hand, is debt used to purchase things that quickly lose their value and do not generate long-term income. Remember, the goal here isn't to accumulate debt, but to use it as a tool to create wealth. It requires careful planning, disciplined spending, and a clear understanding of the risks involved. With the right strategy, debt can be more than just a liability. It can be a path to financial freedom. Now that we understand what strategic debt usage is, how can we apply it in our lives? The answer lies in a series of steps that, when followed carefully, can help you use debt to your advantage. The first step is understanding your financial situation. It's crucial to know your income, expenses, savings, and current debts. This knowledge will help you determine how much additional debt you can reasonably take on without jeopardizing your financial stability. Next, set clear, measurable financial goals. Whether it's starting a business, investing in real estate, or funding an education, a well-defined goal gives your debt purpose. Remember, the idea is not to accumulate debt for the sake of it, but to use it as a tool to achieve something greater. Now, with a clear financial picture and set goals, it's time to research investment opportunities that align with those objectives. This could range from stocks and bonds to real estate or even starting your own business. Research is key here. The more you know about your potential investment, the better equipped you are to make informed decisions. Once you've identified potential investments, calculate the potential returns. Here's where things get interesting. The goal is to have your investment yield a higher return than the interest you're paying on the debt. This is what turns debt into a strategic tool for wealth creation. Finally, regularly review your debt strategy. Life is unpredictable, and market conditions can change rapidly. Regular check-ins allow you to adjust your strategy if necessary, ensuring that your debt continues to serve its strategic purpose. Remember, strategic debt usage is not about reckless borrowing, but about making calculated decisions that will help you reach your financial goals faster. The key is to understand the risks, plan carefully, and always stay informed. The key to successful strategic debt usage is careful planning and calculated risk-taking. Keep these steps in mind, and you'll be well on your way to using debt as a strategic tool to build wealth. So, what are the key points to remember about strategic debt usage? Let's recap. 
strategic debt usage is not about amassing debt for the sake of it. Rather, it's about wielding debt as a tool to create wealth. It's like a financial lever that, when used wisely, can lift you to new heights of prosperity. Remember, strategic debt usage calls for careful planning and execution. It's not a reckless gamble, but a calculated move. You need to have a clear purpose for the debt, whether it's to invest in assets, start a business, or fund an education that leads to higher earning potential. Moreover, it's vital to regularly review your debt strategy. The financial landscape is ever-changing, and so should your approach to debt. Keep an eye on interest rates, your credit score, and your repayment capacity. Strategic debt usage is not about getting into debt. It's about using debt to your advantage. In conclusion, strategic debt usage is about turning the tables on debt. Let's take a moment to recap what we've discussed. We've redefined the concept of debt, moving away from the notion of it as a burden and towards understanding it as a tool. A tool that, when used with precision and planning, can bring about significant financial growth. We've broken down the steps to using debt strategically, emphasizing the importance of understanding your financial situation, defining your goals, and creating a well-thought-out plan. We've also highlighted key points to remember about strategic debt usage, reminding you that it's not about reckless borrowing, but about making calculated decisions and taking measured risks. So, the next time you think about debt, remember, it's not always a bad thing. Used strategically, it can be a powerful tool for financial growth. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more empowering financial content.